Today we're looking at the high pressure oil system on a six liter Ford. The injectors are hydroelectric unit injectors and therefore you are using high pressure oil to actuate the injectors. The oil has to come from the pump which is mounted in the valley of the engine up to the high pressure oil manifold to be delivered through these ball tubes and to the injectors. So in order to get that oil from the high pressure oil pump to the manifold it comes through what are called standpipes. So we have two manifolds here. The manifolds are the same left and right. However, when you put one on the right, you've got this standpipe that's going to be in a different position. So therefore, we have a blank hole that needs to be filled, and that's where the dummy plug comes from. So in this case, on this manifold, you're seeing the manifold relief removed with standpipe in place and the dummy plug. On this manifold, where the dummy plug is still in place, and you're show, we're showing the small section of the two-piece standpipe. The reason we show you that is one of the common issues with these engines is lack of oil pressure to actuate the injectors. So one of those problems are with the standpipes and dummy plugs. Anytime this high pressure manifold is removed from that cylinder head, standpipe and dummy plugs should be replaced. They have wearable o-rings on them of Teflon design and when you're replacing these you want to be certain that you're using the Teflon design that the OE uses on these. Uh, if you don't the lifespan on them is considerably shorter. So in order to pull these out it simply requires a hex, move the, remove these, standpipe and the dummy plug, replace them with new units. You have three potential oil leaks just on each standpipe and two on each dummy plug. You've got 10 potential oil leaks on just the standpipe and dummy plug assortments. So be sure that you replace those anytime those high pressure manifolds come off or anytime you're replacing the injectors. Hopefully this will help you in reducing some of the issues that you have when installing injectors in a six liter Ford.